Thomas M. Dyke has retired. The story we are about to bring you is one of individual heroism and group strength of a submarine. It is the story of the United States submarine Cochino. As Commander Benitez, the submarine skipper, said in his report regarding his men, their award, if they feel they need any, must be found in their own hearts that when duty called, they were not found wanting. During August 1949, two of the Navy's latest snorkel-type subs, the USS Tusk and the USS Cochino, were ordered to conduct cold weather operations in Arctic waters. At 1700 on the 13th of August, 400 miles north of the Arctic Circle, the Cochino slid beneath the cold waters and deep into the icy sea. Upon submerging, the periscope lookouts were doubled and experienced sonar men were put on the listening gear. The boat proceeded under simulated combat conditions. For days, the Cochino conducted submerged operations, a snorkel tube breathing air for the diesel engines and the men below. The Cochino's skipper was Lieutenant Commander R.C. Benitez of Groton, Connecticut. Our executive officer, Lieutenant Commander Richard M. Wright of San Francisco. A key man on board the Cochino was electrician's mate first class, Oscar Martinez, who hailed from Pequannock Bridge, Connecticut. And chief pharmacist mate, Hubert Doc Eason of Gatesville, North Carolina. Mama's letters still sound the same. Keep bundled up good. Don't go outside the boat without your heavy underwear. Your folks still live in Puerto Rico, Captain? Mm -hmm. She sends her love and prayers to you. Here. Sent you a medal of your, of your patron saint. Had it blessed by the local priest. Thanks. I'll wear it. I'm afraid it's being hypocritical. Don't worry, Dick. I didn't tell her about you and religion. If I did, she'd probably order the Navy not to let me sail with you. <laughs> I think I'll take a turn around the boat. I guess I've always figured wearing a medal is like the box of blessing himself before the first round. It won't do any harm, but it doesn't mean much if he can't punch. Percent hydrogen rising. Hydrogen smoking lamps out. Fire and explosion in the after battery. Short circuit. Sound the alarm. Aye, yes. Stand by to surface. I'll radio the Tusk. Take over here, Dick. Keep me informed. Aye, aye, sir. We'll try to get some CO2 extinguishers in the burning compartments. Radio, as soon as we surface, inform the Tusk fire and explosion in after battery. Surface. Blow bow buoyancy. Blow forward group. Blow after. Secure bow buoyancy. Secure air. Gas in the after compartments. 
Get all hands that are not needed topside. Keep after with the fire party. See if you can locate the trouble. Aye, aye, sir. Doc, bring all the injured men up on the bridge. Have Chief Rouse slash the others to the rail around the sail. Aye, aye, sir. Captain, we're still generating hydrogen. The CO2 isn't helping. Captain, battery room still afire. Have you located the short? No, Martinez is getting ready to open the battery disconnect switches now. Got no time to talk, Captain. We're liable to have another explosion any minute. Very well. <coughs> Notify the skipper. Men injured in forward engine room. Get medical aid. Aye, sir. I'll get it to the after penal room. <coughs> right, I'll send Doc Eastman with aid right away. Keep after that short, Martinez. We gotta find it. Gotta help those men below. Eason! You'll have to get back in the aft torpedo room. Well, Captain, it's pretty dangerous back there. The decks are awash. Use a safety line. Think you can make it? I'll try, sir. I can't seem to find the trouble. Well, keep after it. We've got to find it before it blows us to bits. Captain, radio's out. Can't get an answer from the Tusk. Let's hope she received our first message. Chief Rouse, hurry and get everybody lads. These are getting worse. Come on, sister. Hurry up and find us. Check this out for me, will you, Chief? What's the matter? Don't you trust me? You couldn't tie a sick dog to a fence without choking him to death. Well, maybe you're right. Guess my place is in the galley. You could have fooled me. Why didn't I stay in Tennessee? Man overboard! Can't get a line to him, Captain. I'm going after him. Where are you going, Red? That's Joe Morgan. I ain't letting no commissary man get deep six. I'd have to run that galley alone. Give me a light, Jack. Maneuvering room. Yes, sir. What's going on down there, Dick? We haven't located the short yet, Captain. Okay, Dick, take it easy. We're not having a Caribbean pleasure cruise up here either. We'll keep you informed, sir. Very well. Thanks, Red. I couldn't have made it without you. Those donuts I ate for breakfast almost sunk me. I got it pinpointed. Where is it? Troubles between batteries three and four. What's is causing the generation of hydrogen in the after battery roll? We've got to get in there and pull the disconnects. It's impossible now. It's burning too bad and we're bound to get another explosion soon. If we don't get to them quick, it'll be the end of the Cochino. Maybe so, but you can't get in there. Get me a rescue breathing apparatus. Mr. Wright, you'll never get out alive. Come on, come on, Martinez. Get me a safety line. You know the signals on the safety line? Yes, sir. All right, 
I move back. And don't come any further. Forward engine room. Can't get to exec. Afraid he's, he's gone. Captain, we've lost all power to the propellers. What about the exec? It's impossible to get to him, sir. The room's completely ablaze. Captain, there's a touch. Starting about 025. Get on the light signal our condition. We've got to get power, not much chance of the touch getting alongside if we can't help. Chicken out on us now, sir. We'll never say this bucket without you. You're gonna be okay. This ship's more important than me. Now get back. Now, you ain't giving the orders now, Mr. Wright. We're gonna get you patched up. You can't spin out on me. I wouldn't feel right aboard the Cochino without you kneeling me every day for goofing off. You give me a shot, Doc, the paint. I haven't got any morphine. I can't get to sick bay. What's happening topside? We're trying to get the Tusk alongside. We're signaling that we needed medical aid. She's trying to get a raft to us now. Why can't we get the Tusk alongside? No power. We're trying to find enough compressed air to start the engines. What are you waiting for? Go on, get going on it. Aye, aye, sir. She's got a raft in the water. They're sending over medical supplies. We can't make an approach unless we can turn into the seas. Maneuvering room, any luck with the engines? Fans in the after engine room lining up. We think we got enough air. We'll try her in a few minutes. Well, stay with it, Martinez. We gotta help them. Don't worry, sir. If we don't help them, those ribbon clerks and the Tusk will be needling me till I retire. I hate about to let that happen. We got the medical supplies from the Tusk, Captain. Get them below right away. I got number four engine running. Kick it ahead. Captain? Span in maneuvering. We're going ahead on one main engine. Ahead two thirds. Ahead two thirds. Right twenty degrees rudder. Right twenty degrees rudder. Signal the test. Tell them to make another approach. We've got power again. Kaito, 
house full of smoke, Captain. Can't steer, sir. Can you set the steering pump on neutral? I don't know, sir. What have I got to lose? We'll get to it. Contact the after torpedo room, see if they can hook up a jury rig on the rudder. All right. Tell the Tusk to stand off, we've lost steering. After torpedo room, see if we can hook up a jury rig on the rudder. Sir, they've lost steering forward. Conning tower's out. We'll make a jury rig aft. Yes, sir. Now listen carefully, Martinez. Get a screwdriver. Position the control cylinder on the Waterbury speed gear. It will drive your rudder rams. Aye, aye, sir. How are you feeling, sir? Like a fricasseed chicken. But much better since Doc gave me that last shot. And spread this ball bearing grease on me. Take it easy with my grease, Sawbones. I got a comp to the old man for it. Why don't you get out of the belches and take a bubble bath? How's the exec? He's very bad. I don't know how we're going to get him topside. That morphine's going to wear off pretty soon. He'll be in terrific pain. Martinez. Get going on that control cylinder. Aye, aye, sir. We've got a line to him anyway. I've got a jury rig regard, so you can steer now. Good. Right for rudder. Thank God we'll be able to get her alongside. Start hauling in on that line. All back two-thirds, rudder midships. How are the men below? They're singing. Singing? Yes, sir. Doc's got a quartet going. In a cavern, in a cavern, excavating for a mine. Lived a miner, 49er, and his daughter, Clementine. Lower in the water, hull must be ruptured midships. Tell Doc Easton to be alert back there, we may have to abandon ship. But tell him not to let the injured men know how serious it is. I don't want those poor devils getting panicked. Oh, my darling, oh, my darling, oh, my darling, Clementine. You are lost and gone forever, dreadful sorry, Clementine. Oh, there's the trouble right there. Sorry, sir. You'll have to do better than that or we'll be forced to drop you from the group. Okay, you guys, what do you want to sing next? Let's make it keep the home fires burning. Sinking. Sinking? What? She's badly ruptured midships. That last explosion did it. Now listen, the old man wants you to get these guys out without panic. The tusks alongside them. So start moving them topside. I don't know about Mr. Wright. He's in bad shape. I'll keep you a hand with him. Oh, that's no use, Oscar. That morphine's starting to wear off. His body's so badly burned, you can't lay a hand on him. You'll have to make it up alone. Well, let's get moving. What are we waiting for? Okay, you charcoal broil swab jockeys, let's get topside. The tusks alongside. We're going to get medical aid. Take it oh. easy there. Oh. Right up the ladder. Got him, Willie? Oh, here we go. One more. Good boy. Take it easy. What about Mr. Wright? Get moved. Okay, Willie, shove off. Come on, Oscar, you better go too. The old man will need you. We're gonna make it and we ain't gonna lose a man. Let's hope so. All hands abandon ship. 
All hands abandon ship. All hands abandon ship. Come on, Oscar, get going. All hands abandon ship. Come on, sir, we gotta get topside. I'm staying here. You go ahead, Doc. You're going topside, sir. We gotta abandon. I don't think I can make it. Well, you gotta, sir. You got to. Oh, don't touch me. I'll try, but... All hands, abandon ship. Hurry, sir. There isn't much time. Hold your body stiff. Oh, don't touch me, please. Don't touch me. Hurry, Mr. Wright. We're going down. I can't make it. You go on. Go on up, Ethan. I'm not leaving you here. You can make it. in a moment with our special guest. We are very fortunate to have with us one of the heroes of the tragic episode you have just witnessed, Commander Richard Wright. Dick, it's nice to see you. I'm glad to say that you don't seem to be any the worse for this harrowing experience. Thanks to some very good work on the part of the medical department, over a period of 14 months, I feel fine. We thought you were never going to make it up that ladder. As a matter of fact, to this day, I don't recall how I did it. I just seemed to arrive on the top side through no force of my own. Is there anything you'd especially like to say? Yes, there certainly is. Only one man from the Cochino was lost, which under the conditions of wind and weather was remarkable. The real heroes were the crew of the Tusk. They did a great and unselfish job. Well, thank you very much, Commander Wright. Please be with us again for another exciting submarine story. Take her down, let us be by. Through the deep blue, underneath the ocean, we'll control the ocean by. Come down, down, underneath the sea. Take the coast, the past the world, in the future's yet 
Thank you.